Hey gang, welcome back to Learning to Survive. Big John and Terry here with you as usual. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Trailblazer Survival Kit that we got in the last Shit Hit the Fan Mystery Gear box. But, as usual, you know the drill. If you want to find out what's inside, you're going to have to stick around. Tell them, Terry. Hey gang, thanks for sticking around. Like I said, today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Trailblazer survival kit that came in our last Shit Hit The Fan Mystery Gear box. You're gonna to have to excuse all the freaking noise behind me because the apartments right across the way from us are doing a bunch of construction. And just as I decided to start doing the video, the lawn guys decided to show up. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. <sighs> I'm also trying out a new beer today, which you can already see there's some of it that's gone, which tells you that um, maybe this isn't the first take of this. Imagine that, I made a mistake. And there, those mistakes might show up at the end of the video hmm. <laughs> but this is voodoo ranger ipa from new belgian Brewing. and as you can see i've already tasted it and man it is good mm. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. i like that one nice you know i just bought it because i thought the bottles were cool and who doesn't want to drink a beer that's called voodoo ranger i mean <laughs> all right so we're gonna get into this uh survival kit here excuse me terry i know that uh on the video for the Shit at the Fan Mystery Gear box. This one. Uh, M. Angel commented that she was curious to see what was inside of the survival kit. And I said in the video that I would do a separate video because my videos take too long as it is. And I don't want to bore everybody by going over everything. So, we're going to go over this today. So, first off, we have the uh, supposed to be uh, waterproof package, plastic. You've got a little, I don't know if you can see that, like lanyard hole there. Can you see? Um, <clears throat> where you can put a, you know, a lanyard through there. You can put a piece of uh, cordage or paracord or whatever and hang it. Um, let's get into it and let's see what's inside. Or maybe not. Maybe I can't get it open. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to open her up. And we have some paperwork. Everybody loves paperwork. Accident Evaluation Report. Okay. This is in case you come across someone who is having problems already. Um, it's kind of like a little mini triage form. <clears throat> and it tells you, it gives you the initial examination. Check, make sure the airway is clear, breathing, pulse, Protect the neck for movement, secondary examination, head, check the head for wounds, neck, is the airway okay, chest, see if there's a sign of pain, abdomen, back, pelvis, and then 
flat selects. Um, and then it has some information that you fill out here. <laughs> it says name of casualty. You think we could pick a better term than casualty? I mean, it sounds like they're already dead. You know, <laughs> name of accident victim, uh, just how about name of person? How about that? <laughs> but name, name of casualty. Age, sex, time of accident, date, weather, apparent injuries, last known food intake, and allergies. Uh, I, I, um, maybe somebody can help me with this. I don't know why you would need this. I mean, unless you're going to, like something happened to somebody in your group and you're gonna leave this with them while you hike out for help so that if somebody comes across them and they're unconscious, unconscious um, it'll give them some information. I think I may have just answered my own question. But <clears throat> I, that's the only thing I can assume that this is for. Um, and you actually have two of those. Then you have survival instructions. Immediate action in a survival situation. The plan. First aid. Location. Morse code. That could come in very handy. Fire. Fire making. Uh, shows you how to make different, a couple of different kinds of fire. Ground to air signals. It, it has the ground to air signals on here, but let me tell you something. If I'm stranded out in the wilderness and I see a plane or something going overhead, the only ground to air signal I'm gonna be worrying about is help, help. I mean, that's that's gonna be about it. I'm not gonna be, I'm not worried about what each symbol means. I'm just gonna be jumping up and down and waving my arms and screaming help like a maniac. Um, protection, clothes, shelter, very, very important. Food, fungi, water. I'm looking at, the, uh, it's, it's got in uh, bold print. Never drink urine, seawater, or milky plant juices. Do you think these are instructions you really need to give people? I, I, mean, I guess maybe so, I, I, but you know, unless you're Bear Grylls, uh, I'm, I'm not drinking any urine. Uh, seawater would be an out, and milky plant juices. I'm gonna leave that one right there. I'm not even gonna Sources of water, how to make a dew trap, how to purify water naturally. Very helpful. Movement, river crossing, how to cross a river, uh, how to navigate using the sun, uh, using your watch as a compass, how to move by the stars, vegetation, shadow method of detection. So, a pretty cool little little notebook, if you will, there, of survival information. Oh, you'll excuse me, you want to take a break. <laughs> Next up. Sorry. Next up is a little handsaw. And we got we got a handsaw in the box. This one's a little smaller and cheaper than that one. Um, and like I said, guys, I've never used one of these, but <clears throat> hold on. I mean, I'm not gonna unravel this whole thing, but it, it just feels like some twisted up Balin wire is really what it feels like. 
I mean, it's a little rough, but I'm gonna have to take one of these out. I'm gonna have to take one of these out and test it because I just don't see what this is gonna cut through. I just don't get it, you know. Um, in one of the boxes, we got the hand chainsaw, which was basically like a chainsaw blade connected to a couple of handles. Now that thing, that I see cutting through some stuff and I've seen videos of it work and that sucker is bad. But I just don't see what you're gonna cut with this. I really don't. Guys, post below if you ever use one of these in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you think. Next. I'm sorry, my scar's trying to go out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to save it because they're so good. They're so good, but they're drying out and I need to smoke them. A safety whistle. Now this one actually has a little, we almost dropped it. Actually has a little pocket clip on it. I don't know if you can see that. But that you could, that way you can clip it on your pocket and, you know, uh, if you, or your belt or whatever, and then if you see somebody, you can just immediately pull it out, start blowing it, rather than having to hunt through your stuff. So I like that. I like the idea of the little pocket clip. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm, I don't know how loud this thing is. Wow. Pretty loud. I mean, that was just, that was just that wasn't even a hard, a hard blow on there. So pretty loud. So like that. That's pretty cool. Um, there is a tea light in there, and I'm assuming this is to go with your uh, tea light lantern. Um, but I mean, this could be used for light in a bunch of situations. <clears throat> what do we got? copper wire Ooh. Ooh. length of copper wire there um, guys something like this uh, again in another uh, shit at the fan box we got a thing of thicker wire kind of like bailing wire more than this but still this stuff has a million and one uses I like the fact that this is in here because you can use this to make traps, snares, um, you can uh, use it to make like trip alarms, you know, like you, you know, run it across an area where you think you know, people might be coming towards your camp or wherever and connect it, you know, you know, via some paracord or whatever to some bottles or cans, something that's going to make some noise when they, they trip it and you have advanced warning that someone is coming. So, this is cool. I like that a lot. Um, a little fishing kit. Got a little fishing kit right there. Um, I'm not going to open all this up because it is small. But we have um, a couple of different size hooks. We have a little length of fishing line and a couple of sinkers. Again, something that could be extremely, extremely handy. Um, when you're stranded or shit hit the fan situation or whatever, and you need food, fishing is one of the easiest ways to get food. Um, I mean, you can trap it, you, know, you can trap food, you know, stuff like that. Or if you, know, you have a, a, a gun with you, you can hunt food, but fishing, is probably one of the easiest that almost anybody can do. Almost anybody can fish. I mean, I was fishing when I was like four years old. So if I can catch fish at four years old, I'm sure I can catch fish now. And uh, even people that don't fish very often could fish. So uh, this, again, extremely handy. And you can always find bait out there earthworms, minnows, grasshoppers, uh, crickets, whatever. So you can always find bait. So good idea. Um, a little ferro rod for fire starting. Always important. A 
small sewing kit. It's got mm, four or five different kinds of thread, a couple of buttons, and a sewing needle. Again, um, a multitude of uses. Obviously, you know, to repair clothing, um, to repair a tarp, uh, you know, a, a tent, a sleeping bag, you know, things like that. But, I mean, you can also use this uh, as stitching, you know, for a cut or a, a wound of some kind. And, you know, I know what you're going to say. You're going to, well, but, you know, the thread's not sterile. You know, would you really stitch it up, something up with that? Yes. Because the, the choice between bleeding out and getting an infection is, there's no question. I mean, if you bleed out, you're going to die for sure. But an infection, you can survive until you get to a hospital. So, and you, and you can always sanitize the needle, you know, and some, some alcohol if you have alcohol wipes or whatever, or just in a flame. But yeah, you, you're going to do what you have to do in that situation to make it happen. And then you worry about the infection later. We have a little button compass, a little tiny compass. Let's see if it's accurate here. <laughs> I made an ash of myself. <clears throat> yeah, appears to be pretty accurate. I mean, these will do in an emergency situation. I mean, obviously, if you can get a better compass, you know, better for you. Um, but sometimes you just got to get by with what you got. Man, that's good. <laughs> um, a little package of cotton. It doesn't look like it is got anything on it like you know Vaseline you know you can use uh, cotton coated with Vaseline for, as a fire starter things like that um, this just looks like plain cotton um, but again you know you can use it for all kinds of different stuff a little pencil to write in your little accident evaluation uh, sheets a razor blade very handy again um, it seems like they tried to put stuff in here that has multiple uses which makes sense you're gonna carry something this small then uh, you want stuff that's gonna you know, you, you can't have an item for every use, um, like some people have uh, in their overstuffed bug out bags. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so, razor blade, very handy. A signal mirror. Freaking the camera out. It's, there we go. Good. Again, could come in extremely handy. Um, it, it, in a pinch, it could be used as a fire starter, um, but ob obviously, it's meant to be used to signal people or boats or aircraft or whatever as to your whereabouts. And the last thing, it says book match. It's a, it's a book of matches. So I guess technically it should say matchbook, but 
you know, who am I? <clears throat> These matches are literally made out of balsa wood. I shit you not. They're made out of balsa wood. I mean, it just seems like balsa wood would just like, you light it and it would just go, you know. I just don't, I don't. You know what? We're going to have to light one of these. Hold on a second. All right. I took one of these matches out. And like I said, I mean, these things, you can't, I know you can't see it from there, but I'm showing it to you anyway. They're literally made of balsa wood. I shit you not. I'm curious how this thing is gonna burn and how long it's gonna burn. So we're gonna find out. Ow! Well, it lasted longer than I thought, but not very long. So, I mean, again, in an emergency situation, in a pinch, you gotta do what you gotta do. These would do the trick. So there you have it, gang. That is what is inside the Trailblazer Survival Kit. Uh, not a bad little kit. Like I think they said this thing lists for $9.99 for $10. Yeah, not a bad little kit for the stuff that comes in it. Shut up! Uh, for $9.99, not a bad little kit. So, uh, tell me what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, would you put something different? Would you take something out? I mean, like I said, this would be a cool, like, you maybe carry around in your uh, glove box and your in your car kit. There you go. Probably end up putting this in my car kit. Um, I mean, I have pretty much some form of all this stuff in all of my bags, so it doesn't make sense to put that in there. But why not put it in the car kit? You never know. You never know when you might need it. Hey, gang. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Before I forget, new criteria for getting monetized. I'm still listing all the channels that are so close to getting monetized. I know, you know it may not mean a hill of beans to you, but it means a lot to these channels. Okay. Um... Go subscribe to these channels. Help them out, okay? It doesn't hurt you in any way. I mean, if you don't particularly care for, you know, the content of notifications, but it greatly helps out the channel because they need a thousand subscribers now. So go to these channels, subscribe to these channels, help these guys out, okay? And if you know of somebody else who's close, needs help, let me know. I'll add them to the list. I'll put it in there so that you know people can see it. All 169 subscribers that I have. I'm, I know a lot more people see these than, than that. But go help these guys, guys out. Go subscribe to their channel. Appreciate it. Gang, as always... I love my troops. Thank you so much for your service. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications on when I post new videos. And comment below and let me know what you think. Guys, thanks to all my subscribers. I greatly appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who's watching this. And as always, you and me together, we're learning to survive. And until next time, we'll see you.
going to start completely over from the fucking beginning. Giving her all she's got, Captain.